I traveled 2,000 miles to come here. I sold eight books and four CDs. That's barely enough for a plane ticket. But I had free booze and free food and a free place to stay. It's kind of worth it. That, that is bad math for a band. But for a poet, it's a jubilee. It is hard to find love, everybody. This is not part of the poem. It's hard to find love, and it's harder to hang on to it. So if you got somebody, and you're next to them right now, clutch the shit out of them. I'm going to try and steal them from you by the end of this poem. There you go. There you go. Safety first. Cupcake. My arms reach to you as a Joshua tree with a big fat chunk missing out of its chest. Your hands are hatchets singing metal into the birch of my bones. I am an author who travels. I wouldn't just want to be poet because uh, I don't want people coming to the shows and just snapping their fingers and being like, oh yeah, I ran out of clothes. My beret is at the dry cleaner. I'd rather anybody come and uh, say, hey, I'm gonna hear this author. What is going to happen is I'm going to share some new poems out of the new book, Scandalabra. And I hope to just fucking explode your minds with hope and joy and suffering. Um, if you've never been to a poetry show, what happens is if you talk during a poem, I will come and bite your face. If they say poet, that's fine. But spoken word artist is like... Uh, a stomp on the foot. I feel like that, that sounds like you, you jerk off into a microphone and we're supposed to get it. And uh, I don't want to do that to, yet, tonight. Derek called me a few weeks ago and asked if I wanted to do the show. I said, of course. We're doing this tonight. No license. So I said, let's do it at my at my loft, man. I want to feel like I'm in someone's living room, like I will be tonight, which is what I'm trying to do on this tour. I sent out a mass email. On this tour, I sent out a mass email and I said, uh, hey, uh, I'm gonna try and do a different type of tour. If you'd like me to come read in your living room and you think you can get 30 people there, I'll do a show. And I will get to your house somehow. And it's much sweeter. Uh, it feels more real. The whole yelling thing, when people go on stage and become a character, or become the sensualist, I, uh, I just can't, don't know how to do. We welcome all of you. We welcome all of you. You drunk choirs. You gouged melodies. You nasty bags of glowing mercy. We welcome those with unpaid bone tariffs. Those raised by the missing. And I have no interest in being part of some sort of hippy dippy. Uh, tent, Birkenstock kind of patchouli culture of art. Because their nails were ground down from clawing their way out of their father's casket. Those who couldn't get skinny enough to get to the front of the line. When I'm writing, it's a very solitary experience. And uh, you can't imagine anyone hearing it out loud. And then when you get to actually perform it on stage, you feel like uh, um, some weird voyeur. My reason for the guy that's alone is a very dark guy finishing the pieces. And the guy that's on stage is saying, hey, I'm not so bad. Please buy my books. There's some fun things in here. So there might be a, uh, a conflict of personalities. Those who couldn't stand anymore, so they built splints out of their words, out of their own words. I say depth charges, yes. The choir charging the audience with tambourines in their mouth, yes. Kick me when I'm up, yes. Hallelujah, we are fucked, yes, yes. Bring it on so we can lift ourselves out of the magpie swamp. The worst thing you have ever been through has always been a fair fight. The worst thing you have ever been through 
has always been a fair fight. The worst thing you have ever been through has always been a fair fight. Come to the Church of the New, a building that only says lost, and in bold letters, found, 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 found. I'd rather people bust their ass and work as hard as someone that works from 8 to 6 every day on their art then someone's like, I just want to be free. It's like coolness. I, fuck coolness to me. I'm so sick of things being cool. I'd rather things be right at the gut, you know. Turn on the golden lights. Someone you have been waiting for is coming. Guard your heart minimally. Security threat beige. You can carry a knife in your mouth and still trust everybody. You end up realizing, oh, that is a better show than if I spent a thousand dollars renting the theater. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's the future. Cry out into the darkness, the sermon that does not cease. You cannot be abandoned. You can only be released. You can only be released. I'm Derek Brown, everybody. This is Dave Beeman. Thank you all for listening.